I'm Dr. Jim Shoup. I'm a professor of horticulture at Penn State University. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how we prune this uh, high density pedestrian peach system. This is an experimental peach system. Uh, we're not currently recommending this system. This is a system that we hope to perfect and uh, refine and uh, offer to growers in the future for having an intensive peach production system that allows them to uh, do all operations from the ground, including harvest. So, uh, in order to create that short tree, uh, we have two things working for us. First of all, we have these trees at very close spacing. The, the trees that we're in right now, I believe, are uh, four feet apart in the row, and uh, that in and of itself imparts a degree of tree size control. The trees are competing with each other, and uh, uh, result is a smaller tree. So that's part of what we're doing here. The other piece of the puzzle that we've uh, employed here is a pruning technique by which we remove the scaffolds. Peach does not uh, respond to renewal cuts quite as well as, say, apples do. And so in order to keep this peach tree vigorous and producing good fruiting laterals close to the ground, where it would be a pedestrian system, we need to renew the scaffolds. And so what we're gonna do is uh, we've, we've come in on this system uh, the trees were planted in 2018. We grew the trees for a couple years. We cropped them on both sides in 2020. And then after harvest in 2020, we came in and we made a cut about 30, 36 inches from the ground and removed one entire row middle of, of scaffold. So uh, this, this side of this row and the uh, adjacent side of the adjacent row were removed. And uh, the resulting regrowth you see is this here, and we selected uh, one branch to become the new scaffold, removed all the others, and what we end up with is, uh, is we have renewed this canopy. This canopy, uh, renewed in 2021 after being pruned in 2020, we'll crop this in 2022. And while we're cropping this in 2022, we're gonna renew this side. So in order for that to happen, we need to to prune this side uh, and we're going to do the same thing we're going to make a cut we're going to cut this right off at about 36 inches uh, from the from the ground and uh, and then allow it to renew just as we did this side to do that I'm going to do it in two slices I'm going to I'm going to make two cuts so that I don't have the entire uh, weight of the uh, of the tree as I as I cut it so I'm going to make two cuts I'm going to cut it off somewhere in here and then I'll make my final cut down here and uh, and clean that up and use that for my uh, for my renewal so uh, we're, we're cropping half the tree and we're renewing the other half of a tree um, whether or not we can do this with a every other year process is part of the question and uh, it's a question that doesn't currently have an answer yet because we're we're just starting the process could be that we'll need to do a two-year cycle We'll need to keep this for two years while we grow this for two years and, and vice versa. And uh, we'll, we'll just see what the, what the results give us uh, in the future. And, and that's what, So that's the beauty of research. If you knew the answers already, you wouldn't have to do any research. So this is a, this is a, a question that currently doesn't have an answer, and so we're, we're doing some research on it. So I'm just going to uh, demonstrate how we would uh, prune this. And I'm, again, I'm going to make two cuts. But the idea is, is that it's the one cut method, and it's a scaffold renewal so that we can renew the bearing surface close to the ground. So the first cut is just to get the weight off. And then the second cut is to Establish the uh, so <clears throat> one of the other benefits or uh, opportunities here is that uh, you don't need a bachelor's degree in horticulture in order to remove a whole scaffold at, at a certain height. You just tell them 
at the, the top of your thigh, you make that cut, the pruning is done. And so that's, uh, that's how we renew the canopy. And the idea here is that we'll renew this entire side so that it can regrow next year while this side crops.